Okay, so here we are. Lead match versus Caplane. Um, yeah, I haven't really played Caplane before that much, other than a few ladder games, so this will be interesting. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, uh, treasurer, hunting party. You can get a lot of ghosts, but that's not really actually any good here in particular. Um, so we have Earth, Flame, Swamp. Um, so what's good here? You can build a lot, you can trash down everything eventually. There's fairgrounds, so you probably build a decent amount. Um, druid with... The Druid is really good for Fool's Gold stuff. You have Earth's Gift, you have Swamp's Gift. Obviously you have the Buy. Um, I'm not really sure what the opening is. Could be city gate and hope to get the 60% shot to hit five and then get a treasurer. Um, but that's pretty bad if you don't hit it. Yeah, 5 2 would be really nice. Hopefully, he doesn't have 5 2 here. Druid does good things, but it's quite slow at doing them. Um, double silver, though, is also pretty inspiring. Mm -hmm. Uh... Yeah, well, there's Dru this, the Druid can get the Cemetery. That's that's good. That's good with your gift. Okay. Glad I noticed that <clears throat> before I did anything stupid. Um, so then the question is, do we get two Druids or do we get a Silver? Um, hmm. I think I like the silver a little bit more. <clears throat> I guess Druid with Earth's Gift. You're, it's really only a two card trash, but look, look, oh, he does have the five too. Ugh. Well, that's not great for me. Not great at all. Um, So I can also Flame's Gift and buy like a Fool's Gold, but that seems too early. I think one of these cemetery trashes is good, at least. Okay, I do hit five here, which is good. And we'll take um, the treasurer, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, we can get barracks pretty fast, and then that'll be good. You get the second druid. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, here we're gonna collide, most likely. It could be city gate to dodge this collision that I have coming up. I think I like that. The other options would be like start getting fool's gold. Second silver isn't great, so you know whatever. Okay, he's barracksing. Um, yeah, I'll take City Gate here just to dodge this collision. <clears throat> I 
But I think we top deck the druid here. We can trash and get um, barracks or hunting party. Um, <laughs> I got like hunting party a little more right now. And this one's probably just going to be a wisp and we'll buy a second hunting party or we could buy a lost city even. We could top deck the druid and buy barracks now. <laughs> All these options. I mean, drawing him a card doesn't really doesn't really hurt me that much. So I think I can go ahead and do it this way. Okay, he wants a ghost. Eh. I'm not really sold on this ghost thing. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not great here, neither. Okay, he's going for the fool's golds now. Okay, yeah, I mean, the fool's golds are good. I don't want to take them soon, too. Okay. That's not great, but it's not terrible either. We could trash here. We could get the ghost. Um, so it's two card trash versus like one card trash with the treasure, but getting rid of the cemetery and just get rid of a lot of things that the hunting parties can trip on, certainly. Um, your option is like take the key by like second hunting party I mean, hunting parties are tripping a lot on having like haunted mirror estate, copper is three different junk things. So, um, well, I could also like just do druid, gain another wisp, buy a fool's gold, trash the estate. It's kind of like middle of both worlds type of thing. Um, hmm. But I think we'll just trash here okay he wants all the ghosts apparently how many ghosts do you need here I don't think you need that many I mean, having two is better than one, I guess. So maybe we'll get the second one at some point. Okay, he's up to a lot of fool's golds now. However, what he does not have is the draw. Um, yeah, we'll just trash here and buy hunting party. Yeah. We'll still want barracks at some point because we'll want to play with two druids, but. <coughs> Well, that's uh, aggressive. Okay, so.
Where does that leave us? <laughs> I think we're going to want a bunch of fool's golds now. Uh, what do we ghost? We could ghost the second druid and buy another fool's gold. That kind of runs the risk of us triggering a not very good shuffle. <sighs> but it kind of seems like what we have to do, anyways. Okay, so that worked out. With my druid, I'm probably going to take like one fool's gold and one um, one wisp. Okay, so he's up to two provinces. We're going to have to do fairground stuff, basically. Uh... Okay, this is pretty sad. Man, all right. I don't need more draw. Um, hmm. 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 Well, we just have to hope that the wisp draw stuff works out, basically, is uh, our, our plan here. We have to think about fairgrounds. We're going to need big fairgrounds to win this one, pretty much. So. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. That's easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I mean, yeah, getting to 15 should be easy, I guess. Pretty easy. Okay, he goes to treasurer. It's going to be another province for him. Okay, so. We have a druid. Um. What are we doing here? Hmm. Earth's has obviously gone bad. So do it this way. Um hmm. Okay, what's the fastest way to build up here to like something that can take like a lot of fairgrounds at once? Um, we need more draw. That's that's kind of the first obstacle. Um, so that says to me something like hunting party plus. <clears throat> hmm. We do have the terminality issue. We're probably going to wind up ghosting a wisp though, so we don't really have that terminality issue this turn. Hmm. I still have a one hunting party. Um, the second thing is maybe a treasurer. There's a thing I can do where I can like trash my fool's golds when he buys um, provinces. 
and get them back with my treasurer. That's like a kind of a nice way to build payload beyond what I can get from the fool's golds. Okay, so we ghosted a treasurer. We also would like to take his key away. And maybe get the second ghost at some point. <clears throat> okay, he's just stealing all the haunted mirrors. Oh, he's gonna double. Fuck. Okay. Hmm, this is rough. <laughs> yeah, don't have enough actions here. Oh, we need that barracks. I needed more than that also. Which is certainly annoying. Okay. So probably have to play both of these druids. Rather than the treasurer, I need one of my <laughs> We do have a lot of money though, so that that that's good. Um, certainly, yes. Yeah, so we need the actions. Ugh, do I draw? Do I draw him cards? That's the real question. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, I do need one province at some point, probably. Hmm. Okay, let's see if, how close I am to the big fairgrounds, and that'll kind of determine what I can do here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um. Wait, is that really it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Once I buy fairgrounds, I need three other things. One of them could be like a state. Uh, that's easy to get. I do feel like I need this wine merchant. I feel like this has to be like wine merchant city. Eh. The buys are not at all clear to me. Hmm, lost city plus wine merchant probably is what it has to be. Okay, so he doesn't get province here, which is real nice.
Okay, now he gets the fairgrounds. That seems like kind of a losing move, him. For him, I mean. Okay, this is a sad turn. <laughs> Probably this is just do nothing. I'm gonna buy. Probably here I buy like province plus fairgrounds. Maybe I win on the ghost turn. Do you have to start scoring? Maybe I shouldn't have given them that trash there. Okay, well, I'm glad he left that fool's gold in the trash then for me. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, city gate first or hunting party first? Probably city gate first. So we can top deck the volume, well, it doesn't really matter. Um, what makes sense? I think it's to play all the hunting parties. I mean, that's going to skip the wisps. Eh. It's a little complicated. Okay. Hmm. There's a lot of wisp sound a bit down there, I think. Um hmm. I can gain some stuff. I have four buys. Well I probably have enough to triple plus something. Is the question is is that enough to win? Alright, I gotta count this out. So that's 18 points, so that brings me to 30. Um, yeah, this looks pretty good if I can triple plus fairgrounds. So that's 8, 10, um, 11. 11 plus 20 is 31. 31 plus 3 is 34. Which is enough. Yeah, right, I'm doing that. Three provinces. That's enough points and everything. Oh, yeah, and he can't. Okay, I think this doesn't work. I mean, I think this does work. Oh, apparently I miscounted, but it doesn't matter because I have it exactly. Well, or I can buy a duchy, obviously. Okay, so that worked out. <clears throat> Thought I was dead there when, uh, well, he didn't get any draw, really, other than the wisp stuff. And draw is important. I mean, he should have had that going away with 5 2, with the 5 2 opening, but, you know, whatever. Uh, what is this? 
the only village is Sacrifice and Scepter, neither of which are... Well, and Lost Arts. Okay, there's Lost Arts. Yeah, that's important to note. Um, so is that enough to do the bridge troll thing with draw being like imps? Hmm. Maybe? The other question is, do you open C-Hack here? I would rather open DW Catapult, I think. So that's what I'm going to do. Playing one attack uh, a lot. I'd rather it be like two catapults than a catapult and a hag. Well, if you're playing two attacks, is what I mean, yeah. Oh, Imp Scepter is cute, yeah. Well, let's you do some stuff. Okay, so he trashes a state, which I'm happy to see. Um, we're gonna make him discard here. And probably gain take the sage rather than a silver. Well, we could take the silver. I don't know. We're probably not gonna get. We're not gonna take a gold next turn. I don't think we'd rather take like catapult plus silver. So, yeah, I'll take the silver here. Okay, kind of the DW misses, but that's not really that bad. I'll take a sage here. I don't want another silver. Okay, he gets a council room. He's going to go for LA on council room, presumably, which is interesting. Maybe he'll do something with, like, moving it. I've always wanted to do something along that line where you like move it every turn or something, but uh, never got it to work or never had it come up. Anyways, I can take Bridge Troll first, certainly. Um, and we're going to try and make it work with Imps as the draw. And probably some added sacrifice in there at some point, too. Okay, this can be second bridge troll. Play the Devil's Workshop. I kind of want a second Devil's Workshop. <clears throat> They're really good, like with cost reduction, of course. Hey, he draws me up. That's very nice of him. Okay, he does that. Um, so he's playing some sort of money, I guess. I think I want this bridge troll in play. And then to take like another sacrifice, another sage, I mean. Because I want to start gaining imps. Okay. Now we want to gain two cards. We also need to hit six at some point. Um, more bridge troll? Yeah. I guess we're getting another gold here. I don't want two coppers. That's bad. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess he can hit me with a discard attack after all this drawing me up, which is like pretty good. Well, it's sort of good. Yeah, it's possible that his thing is better. Um, we shall see. I have the I have the Duchy Duke as kind of a back as kind of a thing that's going to make him get eight provinces. So okay, here it's beneficial probably to buy a copper in order to get the imp. <clears throat> 
a little worried I'm never going to hit six, but we'll see, I guess. I do get such a nice selection of cards here to choose my three card hand from. Um, Yeah, I really need to hit six somehow, which probably is just going to be a hand that has two golds in it at this point. Yeah, he's going to start cursing me at some point, I guess, too, which is going to be really bad. It's very possible I just fucked this up completely. <laughs> All right, uh, but whatever. We're going to play it out anyways. Hoping it starts to come together. Although I do not have any sense of, you know, sort of uh, confidence that that's the case. What could I bid here? Probably just one. I could pass. No, I can bid a little bit. I can bid like four. <laughs> this is so stupid. I really screwed this up. I really, really, I don't know, man. I thought this would work better than it did, but it does not work better than it did. Ugh, whatever. If I had hit six earlier, would that even have helped? Probably a little bit. You know what? We're just gonna. Whatever. I needed to get imps faster? I don't know. I needed to get six. I needed to be able to play a bridge troll and a catapult. Fuck. Hmm, that was stupid. I feel bad about missing that. Like, I should have seen that. That obviously, I mean, I. Fuck. Okay, this one's got what? This one's got Storm and Tunnel. Is Storm and Tunnel dominant here? Could be with like a sculptor. Can trash the hovel to start off. Hmm. Hmm. What's the other thing? The other thing is you draw a lot with like crossroads and hunting grounds and stuff, but you have a hard trouble getting, you have some trouble getting extra buys since all the buys is terminal. Um, so it's hard to really make use of bank and also, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna play Storm Tunnel even though this is maybe really stupid. You can play Storm Tunnel with Hermits. How well does that work? You like get Mad Men?
I could see throwing some 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 hermits in there. I mean, there's this kind of this issue where if the engine player gets access to all 10 hermits, the engine is probably dominant. Probably like some really complicated engine. Okay, he has 5-2. Um, Okay, I think I'm gonna try and play this really complicated thing, which uses like hermit and sculptor and storeroom and tunnel and like a crossroads probably too. I remember someone talking about storeroom hermit being a thing. I don't remember who that was. I feel like it was like Dan or RTT or someone. Okay, he doesn't have five two. He just played two of his coppers really uh, in a weird way. <clears throat> yeah, okay, this is annoying, but not. Well, actually, it's super fucking annoying because I don't get to trash any of my manor. Mm, he takes the silver, which is good. Um, <sighs> what do I gain here? Probably another hermit because I'm leaving this one. Hmm. Not happy about that. Okay, now he gets the sculptor. Um, I'm gonna buy crossroads here, I think. So he gets a madman and a fucking um, whatever. I run a real risk of drawing the madman dead here if I play the hermit and trash the OE. <sighs> Do you really need to hit five though? We have this issue. Um, Hmm. Well, okay, we don't draw it, so we're happy. Um, hmm. <laughs> here I feel like we gain. Well, we're getting another madman here, I'm pretty sure, so. Uh, yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> and here we'll get the sculptor, uh, which will be good. He's doing diplomat draw engine, which is pretty decent if you have like villagers to start it off so you can like lead with the storeroom but it's really hard to amass villagers here because you don't actually want any silvers so much Okay, so he pops his madman.
Okay, he gets crossroads plus hunting grounds. Oh, this is so annoying. Meh. Do I pop the second madman? Or do I draw one more card and hope it's not the hermit? I feel like I have to do this. As annoying as it may be. Okay, so what are we trying to do here? Um, what's our goal? We want the sculptor and uh, I don't know, maybe second storeroom with the hermit. We'll take a gold here, I think. Well, or we could just discard everything for coins. Get um, $11 and buy like Sculptor Hunting Grounds. Or, is, or do we just go for the storeroom tunnel stuff now? Uh, I feel like the other thing is so unreliable, actually. I might we'll just do it the other way. Um, And then this is Sculptor plus Second Storeroom. Now we can just start provincing. Here we can think about drawing a little bit with Diplomat, or is it better to just get the Silver and the Villager? I think it's probably better to get the Silver and the Villager. Okay, that didn't really do a great job, but whatever. It's not reliable, this thing, but it does some stuff. Here we'll take a madman. Madman plus what? Madman plus tunnel, even? Okay, he gets hunting grounds. I mean, hunting grounds is pretty decent. Um, don't know if I want to trash the necropolis. I feel like I probably do, actually. It just is kind of getting in the way. So I have two storerooms and two tunnels. I think I'll keep the hermit in the thing for now. We're kind of like a second crossroads. We can, th well, let's see what we can do here. Um, what's down there is one tunnel. Uh, what else? Probably just one tunnel and a couple of coppers. So this looks like a really nice shuffle to trigger. OK, 
Okay, that's for bank plus province. Okay, this isn't exactly what I wanted to see here. But it's not awful either. Um, here I'm gonna buy, well, this could be another sculptor. It could also be like tunnel plus crossroads. Okay, we don't find, no, this is seven, this is annoying. <clears throat> This could be a bank, maybe, no. Could be a hunting grounds, possibly, even. Okay. I think I kind of like the hunting grounds. I'm trying to get a big turn to finish off somehow. Uh, is there anything we can do to increase our hand size here? All right, so his cute stuff seems to be working pretty well, actually. I'm probably fucked here. I didn't just didn't think that engine would be like reliable enough, but he seems to be having good luck with it. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see, it could still fall apart yet. Dang, it's luck. God, God, okay, fine. <laughs> he, he, this is just terrible. Um, I feel like my draw has not been great. That shuffle that I thought was going to be good to trigger was not good to trigger because I drew the other stuff right away. Well, we're not out of it yet. Can we double somehow? Is there some way to do that? Maybe with the hunting grounds. It's the only draw we have. Well, we have crossroads stuff too. Um, hmm. Maybe we just have to roll with it, I guess. <laughs> Oh man, so sad. Okay, this is gonna be it for us. Oh, probably not. <laughs> oh boy. Why are my cr I mean, I have so many victory cards, so I feel like my crossroads should draw well, like at least once, you know? Yeah, he should be able to get to double here pretty easy. Maybe not. Depends on how many banks he drew. <sighs> well, he's not villagers left, so that's pretty nice. So the question is, do I swing for like the hunting grounds and stuff? And I think I do. Hmm. <sighs> 
<laughs> Alright, now I play the storeroom. I'll discard all this shit. Okay, we did not make it anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, this should be over then. Maybe I had a chance at double there, but it wasn't a very good one. I wonder if it's worth gambling here. Hmm. Did see two of his hunting grounds last turn. And his crossroads. One of his crossroads. Hmm. I feel like I have to gamble. And okay, I don't hit eight this turn, so. Also, he does find his other hunting grounds there. Yeah, okay, this is over. Yeah, 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 okay, fine. Fuck! Oh man, I don't know where that went so wrong, but it went really wrong somewhere. Fucking hell, man. I don't know. I just, I just don't have it today. Wow. Okay, okay, we gotta get back into it. <laughs> okay, what do we open here? What do we open here? I wish you would start at least. Um, um was Jack Villa, so that seems correct. So open like Jack plus I don't know. Could be Hamlet. Lurkers are gonna be pretty good. And stuff. Smugglers is gonna be pretty good. <laughs> Silver is also a consideration, but probably not. Okay, we have five two, which doesn't change a huge amount, I think. Instead, I I mean, if I open <laughs> probably still just open like Hamlet Jack. Get some lurker. Um, I guess I can follow. So he gets a really nice hand, which is very unlikely off the first shuffle, but you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
one hit in the state. Hmm. Probably by like second jack now. It's council room. That's kind of weird. Okay, that was annoying that that all happened. Um, I guess council room isn't terrible. I'd rather have hunt though. Okay, he takes my bait of putting a bad card in the trash. Well, it's not terrible, but it seems pretty bad. Get some minstrel. Mm. Take a hunt. I'm just never going to have $4 and the hunting. You can you can do that. It's fine with me. Hmm. Mm, what about trash here? Yeah, try and get another bandit. Okay, I should have kept that copper. Apparently. Wow. This is not. Uh, this is not. Oh man, this is not going so hot for me. All right, finally I get to do the trick, but like, God, dang. Hmm. Rough. Real rough. He likes the minstrels. Minstrels are good. Okay. Oh wait, I did them in the wrong order, didn't I? <laughs> oh man, I'm an idiot. <clears throat> That's funny. I forgot how the thing works. Anyway, so what are we building here? I don't know, some big ass engine that plays a shitload of wild hunts, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> okay. He's gonna facilitate this. Okay, we're gonna do it properly this time. Get the villa. Put the villa back in the hand. Play the jack. Don't do that. Okay, hunt for cards. Lurker, trash a hunt. Lurker, gain a hunt. Is there. Mm -hmm. Is there a point to doing the cycle again? Or do we just buy like Villa plus Hunt? Or even Villa plus CQ at some point. So at some point CQ is gonna be good. Certainly. It's mostly just the tension of buying a uh, 
Billion dollar silver. We're gaining another silver. Which I kind of feel like I don't want to do right now. Do certainly want this villa though, I think. We're gonna be the guy with all the wild hunts. Except we're not apparently. Well he might draw us with his council room. Okay, he changed his mind. He doesn't like the bandit anymore. Okay. What are we lurking here? More hunt, probably. We have two buys now. Might behoove us to lurk a uh, Hamlet or lurk a smuggler, and then we can mid-turn the Hamlet. Other things to lurk include City Quarter, which is obviously way cheaper. We do it that way. Yeah, I don't hate that. I don't hate putting the CQ in the, in the deck now. Right, he's gonna do that. Dude, he really loves his minstrels. He's just really hot for minstrel. Uh yeah, let's get the CQ here. Let's Cards. Um, here we probably do cards again. Now we can do points, I think is correct now. <clears throat> And we can try and get a clean shuffle here. Um, we can buy like a Hamlet plus Villa. If we play this minstrel, what's in our discard pile? There's like the CQ and a bunch of cotton and a bunch of silvers. It's not really something I want to trigger. His uh, council rooms are super, super friendly.
Uh -huh. Now he wants the city quarter. He's going to give me a free point, which is very nice of him. And he's triggering what doesn't look like a wonderful shuffle for him. Okay, he takes province plus hunt. I wonder if I can finish this turn. It might be possible, depending on how the draws go. Okay, we're gonna try and find the city quarter. Um. I think I have four hunts. Yeah, I have four hunts, okay. Okay, we haven't found the city quarter yet, which is really kind of quite annoying. We might take one last swing of it with the hunt, but that's really actually very dangerous. So I think I have to take points now. Hmm. Okay. We might have, uh, might have been, actually, sorry, that was a mistake. I wanted to play that, obviously. Yeah, that wasn't great. Oh, he does. Okay, so that's better. Okay. This is worse. Maybe I shouldn't have triggered that. I'm very vulnerable to various pilots here. It's looking bad. It's looking bad. Hmm. I would have loved to get a good city quarter turn, but it just didn't. My city quarter bottom deck, it's done the one good turn I had. <sighs> well, whatever.
Um, so there's two lurkers, two hunts. I don't know how much cash he has. He has a lot of cash. Okay, he drew with the hunt. That's a good sign for me. He might not have the gains. Okay. Okay, so I guess he has a win. Shit. At least he thinks he has a win if he does this. Hmm. Yeah. By one point, exact. Great, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, it's by one point exact. This sucks. Oh, this sucks. Maybe he'll mess it up. Oh, he messes it up. Okay. Okay, so uh, he had it there. He had two villas, two workers, and five estates. I'm pretty sure. Maybe he didn't have it. I don't know. Okay, so um, yeah. I have to figure out how I win somehow on this turn most likely um okay play another hunt draw now we need a villa i have these stupid bandits um mostly just because i wanted to activate the cq now we play Another hunt for draw. Okay. Hmm. Play the Hamlet. Okay. We really need to get rid of these estates. So this looks like play the villa, play the bandit, play the lurkers, buy a villa, play the jack. So the question is, what are the lurkers lurking for? And it's probably lurker. I'm not seeing what they get, so we have to hope we can get like the estates, essentially. Mm. 
that will possibly be useful. Okay. This is my last hunt. Um, so is that it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Four plus six by four estates. No, wait, wait, wait. That's only a tie. Okay. We want to try and do better than that if we can. Um, hmm. well, I guess this is a tie. If only that wasn't a province. Well, it was very silly, and I definitely played it not great. <laughs> but hey, tie is much better than loss, right? So. I'm not going to tell him I thought he had a win because maybe I was just wrong. I'm not going to. Go there. Okay, I get 5 2, which is really good. The question is is it worth it to take the tracker? I feel like it's okay. Actually, maybe it's not okay. Like the only way, well not the only way, but one of the main ways to lose with this 5-2 is that you um, don't see the mount of bank on your, sh on your second shuffle and the tracker is just kind of increasing those odds. So I'm just going to open mount of bank nothing. This can just be a silver, I think. And then I think I take second mount of bank before storyteller. Okay, this is this is sad. I'm getting really nice draws here, which I do not deserve at all. But yeah, all right, what's it? We're taking them. We're taking these draws. Okay, he gets a block, so that's good for him at least. Okay, he gets his second mana bank. I'll take another storyteller, I think. Okay, that's kind of annoying. We'll want mining villages. So he's pretty much back in it, um, having managed to block there. Um, yeah, we want to draw and get a clean shuffle. And by, and by what? Buy mining village now? Probably. Or we can buy gold. Um, let's buy gold, I guess.
We'll try and get mountain villain. Yeah, we'll leave the pouch. Okay, um, I think we play, do we want to draw this all? We'll draw the other mana bank, um, which we don't really want to happen. Our curse is also down there. I'm kind of thinking of just getting a clean shuffle next turn, but I don't know how good that is really. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I just play all this stuff. Okay, it blocks. Um, second gold, I guess. He's doing really good on blocking for the most part, which is annoying. Okay, that's good. Um, I think now I want like a mining village and probably I can take a tracker with that and it's fine. Here I'm gonna take another storyteller. So I'm definitely ahead, but I'm not like wildly so. Uh, yeah, let's just get this shuffle out. Um, here we can think about another storyteller, another gold. Gold is pretty good, um, so I'm kind of inclined to take that. Okay, he's gonna draw me a card. It's very nice of him. I guess I could do the same. I wouldn't mind a lost city either. Well, that's not that great. It's probably not worth drawing the card. I think I'm just gonna take another storyteller here, I think. Try and stick to the mining villages. So he gets a nice turn. Oh, okay. That's sad for him. His mounted bank was like the last card there. Uh, play the tracker first, or are we gonna try and get two mounted bank plays in? Probably we try and get two mounted bank plays in if we can. Okay, we do not. Um, throw a top deck in. Not really. Okay. We're going to top deck a storyteller. And we're going to. We can think about top decking a lost city. We can think about getting rats at some point, too. It's not crazy. Not quite yet. Not until the curses are gone, at least. I think I'll top deck a lost city here. Mm, it's a plat, that's nice. Okay, so I want the curse split, that's also nice. Um hmm. could take the rats now. We could play on, or we could take another mining village. The mining village is kind of uninspiring. We could take bureaucrat. That's kind of not crazy. But for right now, I think I just want to get through as much of this shuffle as I can.
which turns out to be the whole shuffle, so that's good. Um, so we do have the tracker, so we could take, we could put a storyteller on top again. Um, I do have a lot of storytellers. I think it might be platinum time. Don't think I'll put top deck the platinum room. Okay, yeah, this, this sort of thing will happen. Okay, I'm gonna take a gold as well. Um, so I can put a storyteller on top, and I think I want to do that. I should turn that auto play off. Okay, let's play a bunch of treasures. Now we play the Mountain Bank and we play some more treasures. Let's try and draw as much as we can, basically. Okay, so we do get around. Oh, we should. Yeah, okay. Top decking that is good. Wouldn't mind the rats now. We could start greening or we could take another platinum first. Piles are not in, in any sort of danger. Do I want the platinum on top? Maybe not. We'll find storyteller mostly. Okay, so we find too many storytellers. Okay, we find platinum here, so that's nice. Um, yeah, sure, I'll take a free gold. Do I want to top deck it? Probably not. Uh, now do I take another platinum? Or is that just excessive? Or should I buy province instead? I feel like it's a little excessive. I just go province. Okay, he takes his rats now. There's possibility of rats out here, which is funny. Um, 
Okay, this is kind of annoying here. I'm just going to get to the end of this shuffle, I think, and then stop. Um, what's the last card? I think it's Lost City, so I'm not going to play the rats. I'm just going to take a colony here. And a silver doesn't hurt either. Okay, it was not Lost City. I don't know why I thought the last card was Lost City. That's annoying. Oh, he gives me Lost City, okay. So I can play the tracker by province. Yeah, that's nice. Obviously, we do not top deck it. Maybe it's a mining. Mm, it's probably okay to take Lost City here. Maybe it's not. Maybe that should have been like a mining. I mean, the value of a card to him is not enormous, just because his deck is pretty bad. Maybe it's a province. Okay. Now I'm going to take, like, a... Hmm. I guess I take a mining village. So he has a nice turn here. It's a colony out of it, which is great. Um, I should have a nice turn here, starting with uh, drawing all that many cards. Now we can think about not triggering the shuffle here and just being happy like with a colony. I'm never going to get to connect my rats with my uh, other stuff. It's not the worst shuffle to trigger. I don't know if it has a money density on average greater than one, but I feel like it probably does. Ooh, that, that's a pretty bad shuffle to trigger. <laughs> Alright, well we're going to try it as best we can. Oh, it's not so bad. Um, yeah, sure, we'll try and play the other rats and get rid of another curse. Uh, so that means playing five cards, basically. Well, maybe not. I don't know if there's something that draws in here. Yeah, there's, there's the wisp, so okay, good we didn't do that. Um, play the tracker, play the mountebank. The second mountebank. Okay, so we get enough for colony plus province. The 
This is a funny hand. We'll pop the mining village, certainly. Uh, probably just good to do that for sort of safe drawing. Okay, play the tracker. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, we got rid of all of those bad rats things. Um, we'll just get a clean shuffle here, obviously. And we can double colony, which is quite nice. All right, he's gamely trashing his colonies, which is a good time to design. <clears throat> okay, so one last one for all the marbles. We're tied All right, let's try and win this one, and we'll have salvaged after some sort of very bizarre misplays in sort of the medium term. Okay, so we have a 3-4. 5-2 uh, would obviously be nice, but this is pretty good too. Um, you know, we'll open Spice Merchant. Could be Spice Merchant develop. The developed stuff is looking pretty good here, actually. Uh, so we're lacking a draw other than Madman, which is annoying. Actually, I'm going to be right back.
Okay, so he takes the hermit. Do we like the hermit or do we like the develop? Um, I'm gonna go with the develop, I think. He goes Hermit Develop, which I really am not a fan of. Okay, so here we develop the Spice Merchant into JD plus Hermit, probably. Yeah. That's really nice. It's a mill, whatever. Someone's pinging me. Sepperx. Oh, yeah, no rats out of the pile, whatever. Uh, yeah, I would have liked to do rats out of the pile. But it did not work out. Um, is it worth it to get a madman here? I feel like it kind of is, because that seems to be the way we get to artisan. Mm, yeah. Okay, here we can get a second JD. <clears throat> Well, the other way to get a madman is with develop, or get to artisan is with develop, obviously, but um, yeah, I'm not doing that. Well, we could still. No, we have two JDs. We could develop one into artisan, like on this turn. I'm getting real nice draws here, I think. About as good as I could ask for. So it looks like this is trash the estate. Um, maybe develop the hermit. It's not really doing a lot for us. We can take a. Do we want a second, another spice merchant? I mean, it's not bad. It's probably slightly better than passage right now. We do have two junk dealers. We would like to develop one at some point. Um, I think maybe mill is a little bit nicer. Or passage. I mean, passage is okay here. The, the first passage is certainly pretty great. So we'll take the artisan. We'll start gaining like bazaars and stuff. Okay, he gets his artisan now. Um. I'm gonna put a copper just at the bottom and this turn can be oh well we can develop we can think about developing this junk dealer get our second artisan we don't have a village down there which is kind of the issue here um, so I'm gonna delay that slightly um, this can just be card action we're gonna start taking bazaars here um and then I think we're I think a silver is fine. Okay, he gets a madman. Okay, we get more bazaars. We can just top deck this bazaar, I think, and buy another bazaar. I don't know if we want a second artisan. Hmm. Once the bizarre pile is gone, it's not great. I mean, I guess I can gain duchies. 
um, but that's not great. So I'm not sure if we're developing the junk dealer here. Probably not quite yet. Probably it gets one more play at least. Okay. He likes the Hermit Madman stuff, which could be good. Could be better than what I'm doing. I'm not going to play the develop this turn so I can go into bottom. This can be card coin. Okay. Um, hmm. So the question is, when do we start to green here? Could be now. Could take the second artisan first. I guess you can gain stuff like mills, passages, all this sort of thing. This time I think we're gonna develop the junk dealer, so it's gonna get to become like a mill plus a not a third artisan certainly, but a gold, I guess. He's doing spice merchant. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's his second artisan. Yeah, let's go ahead and develop this junk dealer into like a gold and a passage. Um, hmm. Put this gold on the top. We can play the art of them. Gain a bizarre uh, top deck of card. We can play this. Play this. Um, this gets us to seven. I think we just take another bizarre here. We would like more pawns. We have extra terminal space, so the pawns are nice. We can use sort of like extra buys to get pawns because the pawns. Act kind of like peddlers when you have extra terminal space. So, yeah. So we can finish bazaars here. Yeah, develop silver into mill pawn is nice. I would like to do that also. Hmm, I would like to trash this copper. I think for now we'll. Press onwards like this. Okay, it's annoying. Uh, it's gonna be card by. Um, so here, want to buy province here? I think.
Just trying to figure out what's the best way to get the most out of the turn. So he sees more or less his whole deck here, so that's good for him. Okay, so he goes Hermit into Mill and Pawn, buys a province, I assume. Hmm, you're probably not going to find that other artisan. It's probably better to just do it this way, I think. Mm. Top deck the passage again. Mm, or we could try and play on. It's not crazy. Um, so down there is uh, the develop and the province. What do I have here? I have ten, twelve. No, I can make it to double on this turn at least. Um, I think I'm gonna gain. I kind of feel like I have to gain. Well. I guess this lets me see one more card, which is the develop. Um, but it doesn't actually do me any good. That's funny. I mean, it was completely unsurprising. So I'm going to buy province plus, so is mill safe? Um, what can he do? Hmm. 
in your favor if I don't know I'm getting into trouble a little tiny bit. Um, so you can gain you can gain a mill with the artisan. He has like potentially a lot of buys. I don't know if he can empty three pawns and a province. It seems a little tricky, but maybe he can do it with a develop. So I think I kind of want just this passage here. We're getting into the territory we have more, where we have more passages that are strictly speaking useful, but they are definitely a sort of nice thing to have. And he wants the passages. My deck is probably better than his. I'm pretty sure I won the bizarre split. And I also have the gold. Okay. Hmm. This is kind of annoying. I guess gaining the passage lets me play on maybe a little bit. Now here's kind of a reasonable-ish place to stop and just take the province. I would like to see more bazaars a little bit. I also have to decide whether I'm going to take this mill now. Can you get province plus four pawns? That seems like a bit of a stretch for him at this point. <laughs> you can also take a duchy. Yeah, I feel like I take the duchy and do it this way, basically. I don't know how likely it is that he is able to do province and four pawns. Well, I guess he has to do province, four pawns, and something else, which is even harder. 
Yeah, maybe that was stupid. But I also feel like he's not going to be able to, well, maybe he can have problems forever with the mills and stuff. So there's a chance I can win now because he took the mill if I find an artisan again. We would like to trigger the shuffle and like secret passage some junk to the bottom, so I guess that means we're doing this. Okay, let's think about what we have to do to win here. We need to find both artisans, gain like pawn plus duchy. Question is, is the develop helping us at all in this? And I'm gonna say it's not really. Okay, so this has to be card by, I'm pretty sure. Well, let's see, do I have enough to do the thing here? Because um, if not, I'm kind of screwed. Uh, no, I'm not screwed, but okay, yeah, so let's figure it out. Um, so I artisan, so I put the province or something at the bottom. I artisan gain a pawn, top deck the junk dealer or something. I mean, I f artisan two pawns, play those for like coin buy, and then what do I need? Or artisan one pawn and one duchy, play those for coin buy, and then I just need, yeah, that should work actually. Okay, we did it. Woohoo! Okay, that was a weird, stressful match, but uh, thanks for listening, everyone. Sorry if I got too tilty in the middle. <laughs>